Hey guys, this is Vanderson from MadLab VFX. Today is all about particles. Let's understand how to create this cool particle simulation in Tyrion Houdini. We are going to understand some behaviors from the particles, how to create velocity fields. We are going to render this in Redshift. Let's start to create. Here is the project file that I created this particle simulations. Let's dive inside you for each node and see what is happening. Let's dive inside the first node. I create just a sphere. Apply a mountain, attribute noise, without any animation. Convert this VDB from polygons, just a density here. Apply a noise fog to the VDB with some animation. I create a checkpoint here, out a miner, and create a particle simulation here. Let's dive inside. First, I just imported the simulation with the constant birth rate 5000 times 5. The source is just scatter on surface and the life expectancy just 3. Apply a simple pop force with 3D by amplitude. A pop attract with force scale 10. And the cache, the result of the cache is this. Let's see the cache. That's the result of the particle simulation. From the beginning, I start very fast just to few frames later to equalize the, the simulation with a slow motion, like the render here. I animate a time scale here in particle simulation with this, with this expression here. If a frame is less than 60, the time scale should be 1, otherwise should be 0 0.3. From that, I just apply Compute Velocity by ID and create some VEX code here just for age and alpha. The VEX color by age, that's the, the script. The color should be applied by fit by age, adding 0.2. We are going to capture the normals by the velocity. Because I need to copy some geometry to each point here, I just create a line, match the size to align with the center, and create a sweep, like a small boy. Here I remove all the points with have zero velocity. Apply alpha by age. Randomize the P scale here from 0 0.5 to 1.2. And apply some P scale with uh, age. Let's see the copy geometry. Let's see from the beginning here. Without this P scale fade, all the particles should be almost this start at the full size, but I don't like that. I apply P scale based on the age because I want the, the simulation start from the beginning with the alpha. Like this. Let's see the viewport. That's the result of the preview. Now let's see how I created the, the render setup in Solaris. Let's go back here. In Redshift rendering, let's dive inside. I just import the particles. Use the render geometry settings just to activate motion blur. Create a material library and a material assign. Inside the material library, just a unique shader. For that shader, uh, I just reduce the weight of the diffuse here, 0 0.1. 
import the color attribute for the particles, apply some ramp operations here, and multiply that by some colors, like a green color, greenish color, and apply this color to refraction color, with transmission enabled here, and emission color I'm not using, okay, don't need that, assign the material to the this geometry, create some camera, create some arrow lights, you can see here by the camera, where is the arrow light? There are lights here in front of the particles. Apply a dome light with some AGR file, including the project. And the red shift, just render the frame. Let's see the result of the frame. That's the result of the rendering red shift. Let's dive inside in the Karma version and see the difference of the look. From the the network is just the same. Just import the particles, apply the render geometry settings with velocity blur in Karma here. Create a material library, assign materials, let's dive inside the material library and see the Karma particles. I just apply the get the point color, apply with the same value of the ramp, multiply with the same color here, the red, the greenish color and apply this to the base color and transmission color in the Karma shader, the material X. Apply roughening 0.1 and transmission by 1. I'm using the same arrow lights and dome lights from the Redshift version and create a Karma, a Karma node here. Let's see the result of the Karma look. The Karma version have a dark, darkest area here in the middle. It's not so different from the red shift, but it's okay. Now we are going to compose this in After Effects and see how I create this animation here, hue animation, inside the After Effects. Here inside After Effects, just import our rendering. Import here to the composition. Create a solid for the background. Apply gradient at the background here. Create adjustment layer. Apply lumetry. Lumetry color to adjustment layer and change the color, color correction here. You can change the temperature, exposure. Let's look here in the creative and change the LUT. Let's see if a cool LUT. I think this one. Let's increase the exposure. Contrast a little bit. Change the shadows. Let's decrease the color of the background. Create another adjustment layer. And create a glow. To the first adjustment layer. Change the radius. And decrease the intensity. For change the, the hue color for the particles, you can apply the hue filter here. And you can animate here. Like for example, that's the first frame. The last frame should be 306, for example. And the color animation is done for the, the, the rendering, the compositing. That's it, guys. That's the result of our project, Particle Simulation Effects. If you like the content, you, you can like and subscribe. You can download this project at Gunroad. The link is in the description. 
Thank you guys. See you at my next video.